All right, guys, let's talk about my go-to knife pairs for 2023. So a little bit of preface before we jump into these actual knives. What I mean by knife pairs is usually when I go bushcrafting, I carry two knives with me. And one is what I kind of have ironically dubbed my pocket knife. And it is one of these knives that you'll see something like the Terrasaur, the Bushcraft Black. I have a handful of others that are designed specifically, or at least that I've modified specifically to fit into the pocket, or there's a specific pocket on Fiel Raven's Vita Pro vented pants that are designed to uh, carry the sheath of a knife. Now it was originally designed to carry something along the lines of the Mora um, Clipper and Companion styled knives, but with a little bit of modification to most sheaths, you can make a wide variety of knives fit in this pocket. And so that is why I dub certain knives my pocket knives. So that is kind of the first knife of the two knife pair. And then of course, I usually carry something like a neck knife or something uh, along those lines. It's a little bit more of a you know, all around field blade for general purpose or heavier duty tasks. And so usually how I will split up my duties between these two knives is I try to keep a knife that's a little bit sharper, a little bit thinner, a little bit more agile for processing of natural materials, game, wildlife, stuff like that. And then I'll have a little bit more heavy, robust knife that is designed for harder tasks like batoning or heavier duty tasks i should say like batoning feather sticking and uh, different more abusive tasks and so usually that also predicates how these knives are so like this knife is made out of cpm 3v this knife is 1095 right both are capable within all reason being able to take a great deal of abuse but no doubt cpm 3v is harder wearing or it has a higher degree of toughness so anyways, with that preface out, out of the way, let's jump into the two pairs that I'm predominantly running for 2023. So the first pair is going to be this blacked out pair and it is the Half Face Blades Disaster Junior. And similar to the BRK Bushcrafter, this is made in CPM 3V and it has a very, very robust styled tip. And uh, of course it has that nice swedge on it to give that tip extra reinforcement. And then it kind of has this breakout portion that gives you a little bit more width at the tip for prying. Now, once again, probably shouldn't treat your knives like pry bars, but if you do, this is a pretty darn solid option for that. It does, like I said, have a good des design for being able to take weight and abuse on that tip without it breaking off. And of course, CPM 3V is a very tough steel, so it's an excellent choice to complement the overall style of the knife. Now, this is definitely a little bit more tactical than wilderness oriented, but it still handles wilderness tasks very well. Of course, feather sticking, batoning, doing all those crazy tasks, this thing is going to hold up just fine. And so that is the primary go-to blade paired with the, paired with the Mora knife. Um, bushcraft black and this guy i'm not even sure what more i can say about it i love my bushcraft black and honestly i love a lot of these knives that i have but this guy is really great for all around use once again i do primarily try to use this one more for processing game animals but that sharpened spine is superb for striking ferro rods and of course if in a pinch i could easily push this into more industrious tasks because even though it is not a full tang blade it is still more than capable of being able to handle a lot of hardware tasks so that is the first pair up and like i said they just so happen to be both blacked out so it's kind of nice they match but they really do i think work together well now the next one and arguably what has been one of my go-to knife pairs for a long time and like we're talking years is the Condor Pterosaur and I already love the Pterosaur for being one of the best, I would say like genuinely best budget bushcrafting blades that's going to be able to handle just about any realistic bushcrafting self-reliance wilderness tasks out there and it still comes in at like under well under a hundred dollars so the pterosaur is one of those that i think is so often overlooked but it's a really phenomenal blade it's it takes a lot of inspiration from the mora garberg but it's just a way more affordable version all right so that is the condor pterosaur and uh, I definitely love that guy. Once again, primarily keeping it more for, you know, lighter duty tasks, but it can certainly be pushed up into heavier duty tasks. It is also full tang, so it can take a lot of abuse. 
Next one up, of course, and the primary for this second pair is the much loved, much, much loved Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. Like I said, it's made in CPM 3V, and I feel like I talk about this knife for entirely too much, but it is it is a really, really solid knife, super hard to go wrong with. It is slightly on the smaller side, which I think I find funny. Like both of the primaries are smaller than the secondaries, but that does not mean that they're not capable of taking a pounding. These guys, especially this Bark River Knives Bushcrafter, has absolutely taken some straight abuse and just keeps moving through it. And realistically speaking, the Bushcrafter is just about perfect in every dimension. It has a really nice, comfortable handle with a long enough blade to do most tasks. And then you pair it with that 5 30 seconds of an inch thick blade, and it is going to be able to withstand a lot of lateral um, force without breaking. So anyways, guys, those are the two pairs, the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter Condor Pterosaur and the Half-Face Blades Disaster Junior and Mora Bushcraft Black. That's what I choose. Those are my go-tos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and as always, God bless and I'm out.